Well, Australia's third World Cup appearance starts in just over five weeks' time. The Socceroos uh, have it very tough this time, though. They face Germany, Serbia and Ghana in Group D. So emulating their success of 2006, where we reached the final 16, will be pretty difficult. But over recent years, according to Craig Foster, Australian football has changed a lot and we could well be on the cusp of becoming a very serious contender in World Cup football and other football comps. Craig Foster is a former Socceroo midfielder and national captain and these days is a commentator, of course, on SBS TV. He's the SBS's chief football analyst. He's outlined his views on football and Australia's position in the world game as well as what we need to do to improve our performance. It's all in a new book called Foz on Football. And Craig Fozzy Foster joins us again in the Radio National Breakfast. Craig, great to talk to you again. Thanks, Fran. Always a pleasure. Your book is a call to arms, really, for Australia to finally take soccer seriously. In fact, we won't really see that word soccer feature much in your book. You want to banish for all time. You say we need to propel Australia as a true contender on the world football stage. Indeed. Uh, I argue that football is the 21st century Australian game. It's the game that supports everything we want to be in this century. It's the most democratic it's a game that everyone can play and of course it is the game of the world and uh, you know Australia now being involved in uh, the Asian region in particular uh, makes it the game that most supports Australia's uh, international uh, goals if you like. Uh, aside from that I believe it's our last great sporting frontier. You know Australia loves to win and we know how to win at sport but we don't know how yet to win at football uh, and we cannot I believe call ourselves the greatest sporting nation on earth which many of us believe uh, we are or are very close to until we win at the world's game. Now that's fighting words really <laughs> let's face it this whole book is yes. a basis for a great big argument. Yes football is the game the round ball, round ball football is the game of the world but what's wrong with a nation um, enjoying and prioritizing its own national game um, because I'm talking AFL oh you are talking AFL okay uh, there's nothing wrong with people having passion for a game that uh, that they support and and that they love uh, it, it is a game that's been here for, for you know, a very long time, but so too is football. The first uh, game of football, in fact, was in 1880. That's, over 100, that's around 130 years ago. Uh, what I would argue is that uh, football uh, supports uh, you know, the goals that we have now as a nation. For instance, uh, I'd see no, I see no uh, benefit in us playing against ourselves only. Uh, you know, and I sat with a, one of the greats of AFL a couple of weeks ago talking about you know, a wonderful career and doing all these things. I said, well, I congratulate you on what you've done, but how can we measure you? How do we know how good you were or how good you could have been? Because you played against no one except other Australians. I tell you how you measure yourself. You become Timmy Cale or Harry Kuehl. That's how you measure yourself against the world. That's how we know that you're truly great because to go and play for Everton or for Liverpool, for instance, and indeed for the Socceroos, you're playing against 208 other nations. You're playing for a team in Liverpool that has tremendous amount of money, can buy anyone in the world. A single player can come from any one of those 208 countries. So therefore, the competition to get a position or get the number seven shirt at Liverpool is the entire world. It's not just a bunch of Australians. OK, you argue in the book that within 20 years, football, round ball football I'm talking, soccer, will dominate, dominate the Australian sporting landscape because Australia's fallen in love with the world game. Now, falling in love with it is one thing. We, yes. we watch it in droves currently. Of course. But you, you, you have this theory that we're on the brink of or a revolution, really, in how we play the game. And there's a whole chapter called Footballaholics Anonymous, where let me just qu quote some of it, where we go along to this uh, theoretical meeting where all the f major s rugby football codes are there, sorry, soccer codes are there, and we say, Australia stands up and says, I admit that I play directly with no art. I admit that I'm guilty of playing naively. I admit that I'm guilty of needing to import foreign coaches. I admit that I'm guilty of promoting games that none of you play and of thinking this was enough to be a great sporting nation. But I'm grown up now and realise that I must change and be successful at football. Indeed. So that's what Australia needs to do. In your view, how close are we to that point? We're some, we are some way away, and that's why I say there we're guilty of playing directly and with no art uh, and, uh, and also playing naively. You know, football is the most complex of games. Uh, football, for instance, we, you, you mentioned AFL before. AFL has a tactical evolution in the last few years that mirrors closely what football did 50 years ago. So we've had 50 years of tactical sophistication that uh, AFL, for instance, is yet to come to. And most of the uh, growth in the game 
has been on the sports science and physical field. That's because they these other codes are, in essence, physical games, whereas football is a technical one. So we have a very long way to go. And in fact, if we continue to treat football with the same uh, philosophy, if you like, uh, that Australians bring to these other physical codes, then we will not win. Because physical cultures don't win at football. Technical cultures win. Yeah, you say we play football. The key is fight ball. The key is to play football. Correct. But what's the key to then? Is, is it getting the right coaches? Partly. It's firstly changing our vision, changing our culture, changing the way we view the game and respecting football as a standalone game. The only football, in fact. Uh, we have to change the way we view it from a physical game to a technical one, and that is a pretty significant change of culture. That's why I wrote the book, to, to give people an understanding of what the game is about and the value of technique as the fundamental prerequisite for playing well. OK, well, there certainly seems to be a fair support level of support for the game. In, uh, uh, on the weekend, I read that Australians are ranked fourth in, in the ticket buyers to the uh, World Cup. Fantastic. It's not bad. But look, in the minute or so we've got left, Fozzie, let's go to the World Cup because Australia is, finds itself in group D with Germany, Ghana and Serbia. How tough is that going to be? It's tough. It's tougher than last time uh, and there's a number of challenges for us, it, principally the fact that Mark Viduk is not there and the, the strike of the number nine position, of course, is very important. Uh, we also have a coach in charge who's less experienced at World Cup level and the decisions made by Hitting last time were absolutely uh, critical to our uh, ultimate uh, success, if you like, of getting out of the group. There's been some good news recently from Australian angle. Michael Essien out for Ghana, uh, the number one keeper out for Germany, and we'll need a couple of those. We'll need more luck this time. But one thing I know and I argue in the book is that this Australian soccer roo team best represent Australia, multicultural, modern Australia, better than any other national team that we have. They represent us, they are us, and they'll play in the most Australian of ways. We'll be proud of them. Uh, they'll play with heart and conviction, if we have a little bit of luck, uh, then they can uh, emulate what they did last time. But for me and for all football fans, and, this are, and there are millions of them in the country, Fran, as you know, it's going to be a wonderful journey. OK, will it be a beautiful game? I believe it will. And what are the chances of Australia v England, do you think, in round 16? They're good. I think they're very good. I think the guys can definitely get out of, uh, you know, they can get out of the group without question. Craig Foster will be talking to you through the World Cup. I hope thank Great. you very much Look for joining us it. again. Thanks, mate. Craig Foster, former national captain of the Socceroos and Socceroo midfielder, these days chief football analyst for SBS, and his book, Foz on Football, is published by Hardy Grant. It's 27 past eight on RM Breakfast.